Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be remaking my Yellow Angry Bird tutorial. So let's get started. All we're going to need to make him is black wool, yellow wool, gold. I was I the reason that I was pausing so much, I was trying to figure out what order I wanted them in. So black, yellow, gold, orange, uh, brown, white, and a little bit of a little bit of light blue, just a little bit. And we should be alright. Cool. Oakley Doakley. I want to make it a little further away than my white angry bird over there. Because I think he's a little too close to the statue. But, meh. Uh, about here. No, actually, I'll just make it from the arm. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'll... Alright. Okay. Wait. Here. Yeah, here. Alright, I figured it out. So what you... <laughs> Sorry. So what you want to do is you want to start off with 16 black blocks on the floor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All in one row. That's coordination. And as usual, I'm going to make a little bit clockwise, a little bit anti-clockwise. Make it meet in the middle. Make it look like a magic trick. So, left here. You want to do an up left diagonal. One to the left. Up left diagonal. Two going up. Up right diagonal. Two going up. Then you want to do two up right diagonals. One. And do two. And let me... Let me just... Pause where necessary, of course. I will eventually make that thing that will go, like, right after my intro that says... On these tutorials, you may have to pause in some places to actually be able to make it along. I need to... I need to do that. So... Pause that if you have to. Now, on top of this second up left diagonal, uh, up right diagonal, I should say, you just want to go up one. And then, you want to do another up right diagonal. Go up one. Two up right diagonals. Go up one on that last one. Then, two up right diagonals. A lot of diagonals here. And this is what you will be left with. So, to reiterate, or to iterate, perhaps, since I, I'm not sure that I previously iterated. I'll stop saying that word. You've got your 16, uh, row of 16 black blocks. Then you've got the two going left, three going up, three going up, one single, two doubles, one single, one triple, two singles. Pause that if you need to. Then, what you want to do is, on top of this single block here, you just want to go up one, and you want to go right four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Oh, and down one. Just go down one as well. So you've just kind of, like, put a cap on it. Um, the yellow angry bird, he's got a bit of an afro thing going on. Well, not really an afro. A really small afro. But I, Which one's Bert and which one's Ernie? The yellow one. He's got he's got the hair like the yellow one. Bert and Ernie. Whichever, whichever that one is. Um, so once you've got that, once you've got your little pyramid shape, your really wonky looking pyramid, you want to come down to the bottom here, come down to the bottom right, and you want to do an upright diagonal, one to the right, and you just want to do another upright diagonal. And it'll be easier if we just, on top of this upright diagonal, this last one, this last black block, you just go up by two with the gold, and then you just go two up with the black. Then, you want to do an up left diagonal, and then... You want to kind of do the same thing. You want to do another up left diagonal, except with brown. Then one on top. And then we can swap back to black. So, just to show you what we've been doing. So we're at the bottom here. We've got the double. Then we've got the single black. Two gold, two black. One black, two brown, one black. Pause that if you have to. Uh, I know it's getting dark, but um, this next part is really simple. So from this black here, you know, the one with the two brown underneath it. You just want to do up left diagonals until it reaches land. And by land I mean until it touches that other block diagonally like that. There we go. I'm not going to count how many there are because I know it's right. Um, but here's a, here's a bit of a still. I know it's slightly dark. Um, I'm going to come back as soon as, uh, as, soon as it's light again. Alright, I know I didn't particularly show you what, um, what we already have in the daylight. So this is what we have. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to finish off what is left of the outline, not too much, 
And then we will make the eyes, the beak, and then color it in. It's going to be wonderful. Okay, so let's start with the head. So you want to come up to here. And you want to... Let me figure out how many rows is it on. It will be easy if you just stack on four rows of five. So like one row of five, two row, three row, and a four. Like that. And let, well, once you've done that, I'm, I'm just going to make these adjustments, it's, it's hard to explain, so, you know, once you've done that, you just want to, you want to do this. I'll show you, like I said, right after. There we go. So you just want to add that to it. Pause that if you have to. Now, for the tail, uh, same sort of, same sort of uh, predicament of not really being able to explain it, so I'm just going to kind of do... Um, so it it's stems off of um, this this free here, kind of just do four next to it going up, so it kind of surpasses the three that were there previously. And then you just like start one from the bottom, go up like that, kind of like a, kind of like that. Just a little flick of a tail. Pause that if you have to. And now all we've got to do is make his eyes and colour him in. Like I said, it's, oh, it's going so so fast. So from this brown, let's uh, let's do the eyebrows. Um, his eyebrow comes out one to the right, um, following, well, just there, um, and then I, I, I'm just gonna do do it. There we go. You want to have that with the brown for his eyebrow. There you go. That makes my job a lot easier instead of trying to fumble over words going. Do you want there? That's what. Um, now let's put his beak in. So his beak, it, um, next to a single block of uh, brown here, just do a just do a white next to it whilst we're here, and then just do a black next to it. Um, that's going to be part of his pupil and uh, like part of his beak as well. So um, you just want to um, under that black, you just want to come underneath it by one, and then you want to go left by one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then you want to do a bottom left diagonal, down two, bottom right diagonal. Cross two, upright diagonal, up one, whoops, left two, like that. And then from the right side of it, you want to come to the right until you hit gold, like that. And then you just wanna you just wanna place a black block here so it kinda kinda connects. There you go. That's the beak. Just like that. Pause out if you have to. Right, so on this left side of his beak here like leave a block between um, between this part and uh, the other eyebrow you just want to place a brown bar block and you want to go left one up one left four one two three four and then you just want to like one block of this side you just want to place one brown there and then you just want to bring it across by three one two three so it just overhangs two like that now Let's do the rest of his eyes. So, um, his eyes are underneath the eyebrow here, and well, let's screw it. Let me just let me just put it in. Um, oh, there's two bits. There we go. That's what you want to have for his left eye, like that. And now for his beak. Well, his beak's just here. Let me let me just fill it in with orange for you. Well, let me let me top up that orange. There we go. That. And now there's a couple of other colours that I want to put in. Uh, so... Ah, uh, this would be easier. No, you know what, this won't be difficult at all. So, you know, uh, just to give you... That's a complete look over of his face. Pause where necessary, if necessary, whatever. Um, so from his eyebrow here, you can see on the left side, just line it down so you... Um, so you like go straight down, you find the line it's in, and then place a blue on top of this row, and then just with blue, just go all the way to the right until you hit that black, and then place two blue on top of um, on top of that black there as well. And to the left of the blue, just do white underneath his beak, and you kind of want to carry it over to the other side as well. And you just want to do five blocks of white, one, two, three, four, five. So you want to have this. Now the reason that I've done it in that order, um, 
and the reason that I didn't that I kind of had to improvise with the blue and such. You have a decision to make at this juncture. Well, you have... These are your three choices, really. You can colour the bird how I've coloured it in, which I use gold as a primary colour, and I use yellow as the secondary. You can fill it all in yellow. So, you know, the whole thing is just yellow. Or, you can reverse the gold and the yellow, so... Just normal yellow is the primary colour, and gold is the secondary colour. Uh, it's completely up to you. It's what looks right. The first time I ever made this, I made it um, yellow as the primary, gold as the secondary. Didn't like it, swapped them, loved it. So, there you go. That's that. Uh, that's what I wanted to mention. And it's, it's not going to take very long to put the yellow in, so let me just do it. So, there's a... There's, a bit around the eye here, and it also goes in that space, it kind of like coats all, all around that eye. Um, there's a little bit here, um, here, here, it, it goes around the outside a lot, I, d I really don't want to cut it off. It's editing stuff out like that, it, it's not a lengthy process, but it's a boring one, having to sift through. But there you go, that's where the secondary colour would go. Um, you know, whatever you decide to use it, if you want to use a secondary colour at all, that's where it all goes. Um, the outline's there, you shouldn't have any trouble. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill all of the rest in with gold, so I'll be back. Alright, cool. That's it done. Um, there's not really that much to this one. It's just I, I kind of wanted to dodge the whole um, what colour to use until the end. Uh, I'm not really happy with uh, how the gold looks. Uh, well, I, I am happy with how the gold looks. I think it looks cool. But, you know, with the blocks, how you you can see the separation. You don't have that with the just the normal yellow wall. So I could understand why somebody wouldn't want to. But I think that the, the gold is a good match, otherwise. And I quite like it. Uh, but it's a simple swap. Um, whatever you do, decide. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should check out some of my other stuff. I've made plenty of pixel art, YouTubers, houses, tomahawks, tanks, the list goes on. And if you're interested in becoming a YouTube partner, hit up the link in the description.